Solve the following simultaneous equations by using the method of elimination. We've got 2x is equal to 5 plus 3y, and 2y is equal to 22 minus 5x. Now the problem with these, they're not really in the right format. The x's don't line up and the y's don't line up. So we have to rearrange them first before we can solve. And the idea is to arrange them so we've got something x plus something y is equal to a number. So let's just take the first one, 2x is equal to 5 plus 3y. So in order to take the 3y to the other side, we need to subtract 3y from both sides. So therefore we get 2y, 2x sorry, minus 3y is equal to 5. Look at the second one, we've got 2y is equal to 22 plus minus 5x. And what we need to do is add 5x to both sides, so we're going to get that 5x plus 2y is equal to 22. Now we can now solve 2x minus 3y is equal to 5, we'll call that equation 1, and 5x plus 2y is equal to 22, we'll call that equation 2. Unfortunately, none of the numbers are the same, so we have to multiply by a number. So we're going to multiply the top one by 2, and then the bottom one by 3, in order to make these both 6. So we're going to get 4x minus 6y is equal to 10, multiplying everything here through by 2. Make sure you multiply everything by the number that you decide to multiply by. This one we're multiplying by 3, so it's going to be 15x plus 6y is equal to 66. We now notice, if we subtract, nothing's actually going to be eliminated here, because we've Nothing's going to be eliminated here. Because if I did minus 6, uh, minus 6, I'm going to get minus 12. So it's not actually going to get eliminated here. So we need to actually add the two uh, things together. Because if we add minus 6 and plus 6, we actually eliminate one of the variables. So 4x four plus, four plus 15x makes... 19x minus 6 plus 6 gives me nothing which I've eliminated a variable and then 10 plus 66 makes 76 now if I divide by 19 x is going to be equal to 4 that's looking quite good and then we do the same as what we do before we substitute back either into 1 or 2 so substituting into number 1 we're going to get 2 times 4 minus 3y is equal to 5, x now being equal to 4. We're going to get 8 minus 3y is equal to 5. We'll now take away 8 from both sides, we're going to get minus 3y is equal to minus 3. Dividing by minus 3, we get y is equal to 1. And then what we should do is check in the one that we didn't use. So we're going to check in 2. So we're going to check x is equal to 4, y is equal to 1 into equation 2. In equation 2 was 5x plus 2y is equal to 22. So we're going to do 5 times 4, 5x, plus 2 times 1, y is 1. That's going to give me 20 plus 2. 20 plus 2 makes 22. And that's what we wanted it to be. And therefore we can say that x has to be equal to 4 y is equal to 1 as the final answer.